sent to the Senate and House of Representatives by President Bolatin Nubu on Tuesday, July 23rd for amendment of the Police Act 2020 to enable any person appointed into the position of the Inspector General of Police to spend the stipulated four-year tenure is still generating reactions. A group, the Human Rights Monitoring Agenda, has raised concerns over the rush with which the National Assembly passed the amendment bill. Addressing journalists in Lagos, the executive director of the group, Bruna Olaito, said such action is undemocratic and undermines the rule of law. They say the first beneficiary of the bill, the Inspector General of Police, Karadi Egbetoko's tenure allegation, is not advisable. We have a serious ground to doubt the democratic, presidential, and loyalty of our lawmakers to the Nigerian people because of the jet speed they used in passing the amendment bill without public hearings. This law, if assented to by Mr. President, is liable to be nullified in a court of competent jurisdiction if and when challenged by us as patriotic Nigerians. We are thinking to ourselves that before we are part of our court action, we are appointing to Mr. President, the general are appointing to Mr. President Chibu, and we believe that Mr. President is going to lead our letter and come out with an informed opinion. Yes. 